same pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high. You ain't see me stack. I'm a star. How you fall? How you get right back? This is To Your Eternity Season 2, Episode 17. Let's dive right into it and see what's popping off. Hey, Episode 16 came in legit, man. I loved Episode 16, man. I do feel like they got a little desensitized to death, if I'm being honest. Yeah, and then we got to see the handprint. This is to let you know that Marsh is doing okay. Let's get it. Episode 17, what you want to protect. Oh, I'm so, ooh, I'm feeling something, man. It's Marsh, baby. It's Marsh's back. He re he just not realized that March is back. It's not gonna work right because March already came back. It's different for them compared to March, right? Yeah, Bone knows something Fushi doesn't know. Well, there is a catch to it. Well, I mean, all this is kind of up in the air, man. Because, like I said, I thought they were getting desensitized, but then they stood up in, in pivotal moments. I said you, not the stuff. See, like like when I thought they got desensitized, they, they're not at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's... Are they going to, oh, his father's already dead. Why did he want to see Miss R, though? 
Well, we know that Massar his son, but I'm assuming. Yeah, he has something to tell Massar. Oh, she she never knew, right? She never knew they were siblings, right? Yeah, Bond has been thinking long term. She saw the other little girl alive, right? There's a catch to it, but we know that March wasn't going to come back because the other March is already back. And the spirit has to be lingering, if I'm not correct, right? Like, there's there's a lot that entails it, man. It's not as simple as you think it is. Hey, Fushi got a little upset for a moment. Girl, don't be calling me here. There ain't nothing wrong with you. <laughs> but this is this is literally, I don't want to say killing him because he's immortal, but it's definitely draining him. He's spreading himself too thin, man. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What's going on? Something's going on.
Oh my god. I don't see no problem with it. But the thing is, y'all shouldn't be doing this so willy-nilly out in the open. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is something you do in the back corner somewhere. Yeah, but they don't know that you can bring them back. They only see what's happening right in front of them. Bone knows a good little bit. Yeah, they took over the birds. Oh, this is kind of like the movie, The Birds. Uh, I could probably tell she feels some type, some type of way, right? Finding out that you were her brother. Right? And we know that she liked him. No! How the crap did that happen? Wind! Oh my gosh. How can I bring people back to life? There is. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, man, things are getting hectic. Right, I've never seen Fushi look like that before.
he's a little heartbroken too now because he couldn't help Miss Star the way that he did, he wanted to. Right? I mean, y'all been putting in work, but like, I, I can't see the end in sight like nowhere. Nah, uh, Fushi, Fushi's up to something, man. He is. <laughs> nice. Could have got free a long time ago. I I will say this though. I feel like all of this can be solved if Fushi sees March. Bone telling him the secret ain't gonna benefit him right now. I know he didn't just kill Kai. Even if he can be brought back to life. Well, we knew we couldn't trust these people, man. I wanted to trust Kahaku because he seemed a little bit different, but I say his descendants were all crazy. You're taking, you're shouldering too much, Fushi. Yeah, we know it's about their ghosts. Their ghosts lingering. And that's how they'll be able to come back to their body. You got to want to stay, right? I know there's a catch to it. He done pretty much gave up now, man. Yeah, because to be fair, everybody's changing, man. Wow. Okay, I got to give Kahaku, Kahaku his credit. He might be the person we needed this entire time. Oh, well, he ain't got to say it like that, man.
Oh, he killed him. Oh, this is changing everybody. I don't like this. I don't like this. Nah, nah, man. I ain't liking this at all. Oh crap! I knew we couldn't freaking trust him. I knew it. I knew. I freaking knew it. It's not Kahaku. March, march. No! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. That uh was to your eternity episode season two episode seventeen. I freaking knew it from the very beginning. We tr we couldn't trust the freaking knocker in Kahaku. I knew it from the freaking jump and every freaking time they teased us and they played with us a little bit that made it seem like it was copacetic and then the entire freaking time while this war was going on, everybody can freaking tell that something was off with Kahaku. He wasn't like his normal, typical self and right there in that, in that, in a moment where everybody's freaking divided because they're constantly being attacked on all sides from the knockers, Fushi's mind is literally drained from constantly being active the entire freaking time. Misar and everybody else is, you know, they're drained. Bone is, you know, trying to keep everything in check. Kahaku is running on a rampage mixed with love and hate from his arm. You're like, there's so much freaking going on, man. And right there in that moment when, when, when we really needed some sincerity, uh, we didn't freaking get it because the knocker in Kahaku's arm just attack Fushi, and we see that it's 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 eating up everybody, man. Like the way that it was it was coming through, which was a beautiful scene. I just imagine how it was when it was drawn, like because animated it looked fantastic. But I guarantee you, it, it probably just like went in all kinds of sorts of detail in the uh, in the manga, man. But um, the animation on it was so it was, it was it was it was vivid, but it was very beautiful. Like the way that they was jumping between the transition of the different characters, but Fushi's eye color, you know, I think it was the wolf's eye color. Or the boys. Either way, it was one of their eye colors. I can't quite remember because it was the yellow eye. And that was the one that was at the center. And and you could just see all the other bodies, you know, just being absorbed by the knocker. And it's such a heartbreaking moment because we see that Fushi established all these connections and became all these different people. But in that moment, in an instant, we see all of them getting lost and getting taken by the knocker in Kohaku's arm. And March came in like the dove she is, man. Don't don't you attack Fuchan. You get off of him. You leave him alone. Mommy's here, man. The sad thing is, though, is because he killed Misara and everybody else, and nobody's there to really help Fuchan or Fushi, if you will, except for March. But she can't do anything against a knocker that's constantly attacking Fushi. 
only person left is maybe Bone or or um maybe Kahaku can gain control with his other arm maybe i honestly don't know but i knew from the freaking jump we couldn't trust that knocker man it's a freaking knocker like there was no need to ever trust the freaking knocker why would i i, I don't get it man i don't get it and like i said like this episode was feeling w real different man the princess is dead you know like there's a lot there's a lot of emotion going on in this episode man like i'm to your eternity it hits you with a lot of stuff and i'm sorry if i'm yelling man i'm just i'm just saying man it it normally hits you with a lot of different stuff. And this episode, it hit me with so much different stuff, man. I felt I felt a certain type of way watching this episode, if I'm just being honest, man. I ain't I ain't felt this way in a minute. And I watched a lot of anime. Oh my gosh, man. Shoot. But I gotta say though, March coming in for, for right there at the ending for the dub, man. Like I, I that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted was Fushi to see March alive and kicking, man. Hopefully somebody comes in and help him. I honestly don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe Echo can come in and do something because I haven't seen Echo in a minute. But somebody need to come in and do something, man. This is really incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button too. You can smash any more coming down below. And I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life. Peace out.